the more that people are, are, are talking about it, uh, the more people are intrigued as to sort of what this means. If you're a fan of golf and if you're a fan of politics, there's something happening this week in Washington that you'll want to pay attention to. The truth is, though, you actually don't need to like golf to actually be interested. That's because what's going on in Washington involves everything from sports to allegations of murder to something known as sports washing. Well, let's start with what's going on. You see the PGA Tour, the golf equivalent of the NFL or the NBA, has decided to enter into a partnership with something known as Live Golf, a new professional golf circuit that began last year, backed by Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, which is funded in part by the country's oil profits. The league has recruited some of the sport's biggest stars already, by offering contracts reportedly worth more than $100 million. Throughout the last year, the PGA Tour criticized Live Golf for trying to ruin the game, saying that a country with such a poor human rights record should have no place in golf. But then something remarkable happened. Last month, the PGA Tour announced they were merging with Live Golf. And that is why Congress is stepping in this week with a Tuesday hearing to review what exactly is going on. The PGA Tour has said entering the framework agreement put an end to costly litigation. PGA Tour officials will testify on Tuesday, although representatives from Saudi Arabia and the game's biggest stars will not. Saudi Arabia has become a, a major player in global sports. David Taurus is with International IDEA, a democracy watch group based in Sweden. He says what U.S. lawmakers are really looking at is the concept of sports washing, the idea of a country or corporation using sports to improve its image. Saudi Arabia, for instance, has not just been involved with golf, they now own soccer clubs in Europe and have been connected to Formula One racing. The more that people are, are, are talking about it, uh, the more people are intrigued as to sort of what this means. Saudi Arabia thus far has rejected all of this criticism, saying they are simply transforming their economy through sports. But the controversy is hardly a new one. Central Africa had motives when they hosted the Rumble in the Jungle in the 1970s, as did Germany when they hosted the Olympics in the 1930s. What is new, though, is that it appears more people are caring about money and sports. In fact, the Women's World Cup recently dropped Saudi Arabia as a top sponsor following criticism. Whether or not this merger goes through is still very much to be determined. The PGA Tour, though, has hired some top lobbyists in order to get it done. One thing is clear, though, a sport that's known for being a bit boring is anything but right now. Joe St. George, Scripps News, Washington.